that. How are you guys? Like, I don't know about you, but um, this is a great time of the year, but it's a very busy time of the year for me because I'm in the process of I'm trying to do uh, my own little urban, urban farm. I mean, the market is so high right now that, you know, you got to do with what you got. There's no way I can get a bigger piece of property. Maybe someday, and that'd be cool. Um, I've shown some videos of my little chickens there. They are a year old here um, this weekend or the previous weekend and now this weekend. Depends on them. So anyway, back to the urban farm. Um, first of all, my cat Jinx, not my cat, my roommate's cat Jinx is missing. And I'm just all sorts of don't know what I'm doing. He's my little buddy. I know people are like, oh, it's just a cat, it's just a cat. Well, you know, um, my little buddy. So I'm missing him. I hope he comes back. I don't know if he will. It's really rainy here in Vancouver. So we got to uh, make the most of our days, especially if you want to plant a garden. This is actually the third year. The first year we did it, no idea what we were doing, and it went crazy and wild, and things were thrown everywhere. But we, you know, we got some good plants, especially the tomatoes. I don't know what happened. And then the second year, we had the chickens, so uh, I didn't really concentrate on the garden as much, so therefore we did not have a good year. I decided this time, if we're going to do it, I want to give a direct area, and with the chickens, I didn't want them to get into it. So, oh man, I got my slippers on. Stand by. Stand by. Yeah, crap. All right come back out here again so what we decided to do was in the back our garden was half this size the last couple of years I wanted something nice um, to keep the chickens out so and we went ahead and I also wanted some light out there to uh, keep some of the scavengers away and you know me I have to have something artistic oh look you guys see my beautiful tree I love that tree. It's got to be my favorite. It doesn't bloom. You know, the blooms don't last that long, so you got to take advantage. Okay, so here's the door. Now this goop in the middle. <laughs> I try to place a piece of artwork on there. Okay, did not work. Um, there's a bunch of glue, so now i got to go ahead and change it. And here we go. We have this large area. It is around the stump, which has ticked the chickens off royally bad because that's one of their favorite spots. So and then we decided to have a back door. Now, Doug did the back door. He did the best he could. We slanted. Um, it's not pretty, but it does the job. So here it is. <laughs> so we decided to have a back door so that we have the option to go, which way to go through. Well, here's the dilemma that I ran into in this area. Um, we have a lot of clay in the ground, the soil. So it was some major clumps. We went ahead and flipped these over. These big, big chunks you can see are kind of flipped over. And, oh, I'm going low on my battery. Might have to charge this. I put some gypsum on it. Now, gypsum is supposed to help. I can't tell it yet because, let me flip this back around. Battery's going low. I'll have to charge it. Uh, but I cannot till yet because it's too wet. And I just locked myself in. Okay, got it. Don't let the girls in. And the other thing that I noticed was my plants inside that I planted, they're getting too big. So we're going to have to transplant those. Let me go ahead and get this charged up and I will show you my indoor plants. And then I watched a couple of videos and together we are going to transplant some of these larger plants in and hopefully we can save them because I'm not ready yet. Alright you guys, uh, let me go ahead and charge this up and I'll see you in just a few. 